the traders from across the globe and welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's 793rd instructional YouTube video. Welcome traders, welcome. My name is Oscar Carboni. I've been doing this for a long time now. I've worked down in the pits on Wall Street for many years and I've come out of those pits to teach you some wonderful techniques on how to trade these markets and how to gauge them using technical analysis. As we know, futures trading is extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. So we never ever trade these markets unless we have risk capital to lose and we recognize that a stop is our best friend. Never ever trade without stops and do not trade futures if you do not recognize the risk behind this leverage, all right? But for you traders that understand the risks and like this game, we got a video tonight. This video is being filmed on Tuesday night for trading on Wednesday. That's November 9th, 2011. What do we have on the board? First thing is this. We were able to convert that red omni that we had on the board the other day to a green army and that's what we were hoping for so rock and roll sunday night i brought you some analysis and some charts and i said traders listen up right now we have a red omni and there's a little baby bear flag and we're going to use that to take the elevator ride down on monday but then we expect it to turn and i flipped my red omni around and put it straight pointing straight up and said that's what we expect going forward and why would that be? Because we thought we seen a small head and shoulders formation which is a repetitive pattern. A small head and shoulders formation is usually a continuation pattern and that's what a small one would look like opposed to a big broad head and shoulders that takes months on end to create starts like let's say July and now it's October and it's finally completing itself. That's different than what we're looking at. We're looking at a small head and shoulders traders. So what I told you on Sunday evening, we're looking at charts based on Friday. For Sunday evening, I brought you a video, the last one before this, and said it's a small head and shoulders con continuation pattern. We're going to go down Monday and then the head and shoulders should take over and move us higher. Well, lo and behold, Look what has happened since Monday. Monday we went down, Tuesday we came bouncing right back up, and here we are Tuesday night into Wednesday already looking at the upside, so markets are doing what we expected technically. Traders, what I want to show you now is exactly what that small head and shoulders looks like and where we were when we spotted it and where we are now so that we can gauge where we're going next. If you like the analysis presented to you in these videos, please come on down to my site. It's called livewithoscar.com. Jump into my free trading rooms and don't trade alone. Come to my trading rooms. I am a mild-mannered guy. I am live in those rooms. I am there 24 hours a day. You will always find me lurking around in my trading rooms. And ask me some questions. Allow me to help you become a better analyst, which hopefully will make you become a better trader. So, what I'm about to do right now is show you some charts that will illustrate what we are discussing with the repetitive patterns. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, so what on earth is this madman going on about? Well, here it is. This is the very same chart I put before you on Sunday evening. The chart ends on Friday. It's the daily bar chart for the E-mini S&P or the ESZ11. And what I said to you is, traders, I know we have what looks like a bear flag building. Here would be your flag. Paul, here would be your flag. But I think that we'll just get to the bottom of that flag and it instead it is a small head and shoulders formation. And a head and shoulders formation is usually a continuation pattern higher if you're moving higher. So I wrote that, a small head and shoulders is usually a continuation pattern, showed you this chart. Also mentioned that we are now testing the 200 bar and it looks like we will get over it because the NASDAQ's been over it. So here's the little baby head and shoulders and again, as opposed to a broad, huge head and shoulders that might grow over months of time, this is very small. You know, it's a couple of weeks. Boom, boom, boom. And really, a few trading days. And small head and shoulders. I contend this will be a continuation pattern. This is Sunday night's chart with Friday's information. Here we go tonight, Tuesday night's chart. Look what happened. Exactly as we expected, continuation pattern. We took this day on Monday after going down, we turned around and came back up. Tuesday, we're all the way up to here right now. 
and the likelihood is we're here on Tuesday evening for Wednesday starting to move higher. So here's your small head and shoulders. I contended it was a continuation pattern and I believe it is. And now I think that we are in this parallel channel and we will work to the high side of it today on Wednesday. So that's your S&P. The NASDAQ, I showed you this very same chart on Sunday evening. This is updated until Friday. It's the daily bar chart of the NASDAQ, the NQZ11. I showed you it had a big bull flag above the 200 bar moving average and that there was this head and shoulders formation right here and that this would be nothing more than a continuation pattern because we're in a bull flag above the 200, NASDAQ is going higher. So this is what I presented to you on Sunday night. Here is where we are Tuesday night. We have broken out of that head and shoulders formation. And we are now getting above the ball flag. We stayed above the 200 ball moving average. And we are in this parallel channel. Expect NASDAQ to move higher on Wednesday. One more chart, another one of our grand leaders of U.S. indices is the Russell 2000. Here's what we looked at on Sunday evening, and here's what the Russell looks like as of Tuesday evening. It has broken out of that head and shoulders continuation pattern and is on its way and is above OTATMA. That is the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. It is above OTATMA and on its way higher. I say the indices just continue to plot along higher. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework, take a look for your baby head and shoulders, and remember, it's not like a big, grand one that grows over a lot of time. That's a topping pattern. This is a little baby and generally is a continuation pattern. So, traders, you've seen the charts. There is my technical argument for the Green Omni on Wednesday. I hope you see it the same way. If not, remember, come to LiveWithOscar.com, jump into my trading rooms and explain to me your view, and we will compare notes. Traders, I just got a phone call in between the chart segment and speaking to you now. I have some relatives coming into town. They're waiting at the airport, so I've got to go. Remember... Always keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop sorry. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.